going to be doing a foundation and primer review. So Cosmed.com have sent me the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and also the Laura Mercier Primer as well. So that's what the box packaging looks like. So I'll quickly show you what the product package looks like as well. So the Laura Mercier Primer um, comes in a, it's kind of like an off grey beige colour. Um, it's just a plastic packaging. So yeah, the primer itself is a very um, thin consistency and it's an off-white colour. When you put it onto your face bow, it goes completely clear um, so it doesn't have any colour payoff or anything which is great because you don't want it to affect the products that you're going to be putting on to your face. And then the Giorgio Armani foundation comes in a gorgeous glass packaging um, with a just a basic lid and the Giorgio Armani logo on the front as well and guys I am happy to say that I am obsessed with this foundation I've only worn it today but I can probably say that I'll be wearing it a lot a lot more I have only heard good things about this foundation so I was slightly nervous to be honest um, you know when things are so hyped up and then you try it and it's not that great? But this has completely lived up to its expectations and so much more. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put in a little bit of a clip here just to show you. To start off this morning, I primed half of my face with the Laura Mercier Primer. And then I went in and dabbed a few spots of the foundation over my face and then blended that out with the Beauty Blender. The reason why I chose to do only half a face with the primer and the other half no primer was so that I could see the effect and the difference it makes wearing a primer. Now, to be completely honest, I'm not a firm believer in to not prime is a crime. To be completely honest, um, I don't always feel like it makes a massive difference. Um, and today, looking at the wear of it, I can't see a massive difference. Um, I would probably say that the pores and the skin just looks a little bit more smoother on the prime side than the non-prime side. Um, but other than that, not a huge difference. It was still a great primer and I'll definitely keep using it um, and it hasn't made it worse, um, but I just don't see a massive difference. But I never see a difference in primer, so keep that in mind. As for the foundation though, I am so obsessed. This is probably my new holy grail foundation. I was obsessed with the color match as well. Um, so I'm quite a medium tan. So I've got it in the shade 4.5. I was really nervous because normally when I buy foundations, I get to go in store and match it to my neck. Um, so when it came in the mail, I was really, really nervous that it wasn't going to match, but it matched perfectly. So yeah, the primer and the foundation have now been on for about five hours. I haven't done anything too strenuous today. Um, we've only been to the shops and that's basically it. We had lunch there. It's a really, really warm day today and I am so happy that it has not gotten oily anywhere. Normally I get oily in the T-zone, so around the nose area and the forehead and chin, um, but I haven't had any oiliness today. Um, I did my normal makeup routine, so just a light powder on top. Um, I'm not wearing any concealer, I've just got the banana powder underneath my eyes just to brighten it up like, just a little bit. But yeah, there is still a little bit of creasing around the eye area and in my laugh lines, but I get that with every foundation I wear. So it's kind of unavoidable, but I will say though that the lines are not as defined as when I wear my other foundations. So. It could be the primer, <laughs> um, or it could just be that this foundation is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, to basically wrap this up, it's not gonna be a long video, um, but I am really, really happy with both products. I will definitely be using the primer again, and I will for sure be using the foundation again, because it's amazing, and you feel like you're a million bucks when you wear it, because you know you're wearing Giorgio Armani. So if you guys want to try these products out for yourself, I'll leave the links to Cosmedy.com down below. I'll also link their YouTube channel as well so you can check out their other reviews. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge
huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!